Hi, my name is Sabine. I'm drawing realistic animal portraits in pastels and my vision is to help as many other animal lovers and artists to learn how to draw them too. Here I show you how to sharpen pastel pencils. I show you the ways that work best for me. Hi, here I'm showing you how I sharpen my pastel pencils. I always get the question how I do that because um, these leads of pastel pencils break easily or they are really not very easy to sharpen. So honestly it's really not that easy to keep the pastel pencils from breaking or becoming sharp. So um, what for me works best, I use these uh, metallic sharpeners, the double sharpeners. And they work really well when they are new, but um, they also become blunt very quickly. I will show you that then how they work. And then I love to use a crafting knife to remove the wood because um, using lots of these uh, sharpeners uh, produces really lots of waste and you need uh, lots of them so it's better to use a crafting knife and to sharpen the tip of your pencils also this sandpaper works well so uh, let's uh, show you how i do that so I use uh, these uh, metallic sharpeners when they are new, the blade is really sharp and work well. So I have here some blunt pastel pencils from Pitt Faber Castell and from Carputello's from Stabilo. So these um, are very blunt pencils and here this is a new metallic sharpener and uh, when we here put the pencil into that it works really well it's a new one with a very sharp blade so that works really well they are becoming sharp also the carpotellos here so let's test the green one this sharpener removes the wood and i can here achieve a very sharp tip of my pastel pencil that works a while but uh, then when after some time it's not very long I have here a blunt one uh, this is not working anymore so then you put your pencil in there and it works a bit but then I uh, turn the pencil and turn the pencil and uh, no wood is removed anymore. I can really here you can see it. Nothing is working anymore. These plates here are blunt. And then I would recommend to use a, a crafting knife and remove here the wood with a sharp blade of a knife. So you can here cut the wood away so that works really well to use this knife and remove the wood and then when i have removed the wood so i will show it to you soon what i then do and that works really well so first cut away the wood and then uh, you don't have a sharp point here then I would use such a metallic sharpener and only put uh, the pencil here into this front part of the blade and here sharpen the front part of the lead so remove a little bit of the pigment and you have then a sharp point with which, which you can work then and draw fine lines so this is a technique I can highly recommend First to use your knife to remove the wood. It works really well when your craft knife or any knife you use is sharp here on the carpotellos, remove the wood. You can also go here over it and create with your knife a sharper point or sharpen the point a bit and then use a, a, a sharpener and sharpen here. The front of your pastel pencils like this one 
or you use one that's not sharp anymore during the drawing process like this one you want to create a sharper point i do so that i just put the pencil here in and remove a little bit of the pastel pigment of the lead here in front i don't always remove more wood so that also works well for me so most times it's better to use the knife than the metallic sharpeners for removing wood because then this uh, metallic sharpeners stays uh, longer so you they are not so blunt so quickly and you don't have to buy a lot it's better to protect the environment and to to reduce waste to otherwise there we will have a lot of waste when we have to buy lots of these uh, sharpeners another way is also here to use sandpaper to sharpen your pencils perhaps you you again remove a bit of the wood so use the knife remove the wood here in front and then you can also use here sandpaper to make your tip sharp so that you have a sharp point that's also possible perhaps you you keep that pastel pigment somewhere and use it for backgrounds or something like that this powder you have here on the sandpaper and you has have also here a sharp point that you can use then for your drawings so these are the techniques i can recommend for sharpening your pastel pencils so either use these normal metallic sharpeners and sharpen your pencil or use the crafting knife and remove the wood that's like this one just cut away the wood and then either you sharpen here the front part a little bit with these pencils that's i use while i'm drawing just sharpen the front part of the pencil a bit or you also can do that this with a sandpaper so hopefully that helps and if you have questions feel free to ask them in the comments and if you would like to draw your own animal portraits or you would like to refine your portraits i have a workshop end of may it's a four days workshop where we will draw different colors of fur and an amazing horse eye if you're interested to join then please feel free to subscribe you can find the link below in the comments i'm looking forward to see you there